Hey guys, it's Jeff and uh, today Apple released iOS 12.3 developer beta 6. Uh, that is very shocking to me. I thought with beta 5, we kind of exhausted all of the beta releases that could be released without any new features, changes or anything like that. And uh, this is shocking, this is shocking. Uh, the sixth developer beta comes in at 84.6 megabytes on my iPhone XS Max, so I'm not too hopeful for any new features or changes, just like the rest of the betas here. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look what Apple has in store for us with beta six. It's very interesting that they uh, released another developer beta before the official release. So let's go ahead and see if maybe there's a surprise or two within developer beta six. So let's go ahead and get it installed onto our device here and take a look. This video is sponsored by MacPaw, the creators of Clean My Mac X. This is a program that I use almost every day to clean up junk files, protect my Mac from malware, and speed up my Mac to work like it did from day one. There's also a ton of other tools that you get with this program without any hassle whatsoever. So if you want to start the program I use for my Mac, check out the link down below to see more info and also to download it today. Okay guys, so we have iOS 12.3 developer beta six loaded up onto our device here. And if we go to the about screen, you can see that our uh, build number here is 16F5156. Five, six, a. So uh, not really in indicating that this is a GM version because we have the A at the end here, uh, but this is a very long beta process here as we are on developer beta six. Now, if we go down to uh, modem firmware, nothing has actually changed here. So uh, for those of you still experiencing, um, you know, any modem issues where you may be dropping calls or uh, not really getting the best service, uh, you will still have to wait for maybe a modem firmware update in the near future. Now, if we back out of this menu here and uh, go and take a look at, uh, you know, any possible new features or anything like that, wallpapers all remain the same. Uh, I was really hoping that we'd see some new wallpapers within iOS 12.3, just because uh, the only wallpaper, the only new wallpaper that we've gotten with iOS 12 has actually been uh, this wallpaper and that came way back in the first beta of iOS 12 last summer. So that is super disappointing, but I actually did want to talk a little bit about battery life here. Uh, in developer beta five, my battery life was really good. I just wanted to report back on that simply because I was going to release a video today uh, talking about beta five and how it's been treating me and the performance has been great the uh, you know graphics performance, uh, the UI experience has been great. And then as well, the battery performance has been really good as well. Um, you know, I think that Apple is really starting to uh, push here some updates that are really uh, fixing some issues that we've had in the past with battery life and speed and performance. Now, in regards to any possible new features or anything like that, everything pretty much remains the same. I did notice that uh, you know the UI experience here is just slightly more snappy, in my opinion. And uh, yeah, that is that is basically it. I think Apple is just making everything a little bit more stable here within iOS 12.3 Developer Beta 6 uh, for the official release, which will uh, likely be coming next week simply because there's not really anything new within this developer beta version. Now, just really quickly, just to give you like a slight update on uh, the speed and performance here, the CPU score that we got last time was 4,793. And then for uh, multi-core, we got 11,352. Now, we did see a little bit of a dip in performance here, uh, scoring on the single core side of 4,788 and then for the multi-core 11,004. So we did see a slight decline in performance here for the CPU and then as well the GPU. Uh, we saw lastly in the uh, beta five update, 22,371, and then now in beta six, 22,259. So again, a slight dip in performance there, but kind of a little bit of an explanation here as to uh, why you might be seeing that we are nearing an official release. So seeing uh, you know performance numbers drop like that isn't really foreign. It's not really a bad thing. It's just Apple wants to make sure that uh, you know all of these UI experiences that you're going throughout within iOS 12 are as snappy as possible, but also as stable as possible, so that you don't have any uh, you know drop-offs or um, hard resets or anything like that. So guys, that is kind of like what we are seeing here in iOS 12.3. If you notice anything, let me know in the comment section 
section down below, but so far, not really much new in this beta version. I did see that in the Apple TV app, we are seeing a slightly different layout here as far as um, you know how these uh, sections are categorized. So go ahead and check that out if you were on the betas. Uh, the Apple TV app is really coming along here, and of course, this is exclusive to iOS 12.3. So go ahead and check that out if you were interested and uh, you know see what changes are being made within the Apple TV app. So guys, that was developer beta six. Uh, I am very hopeful for an official release coming very soon, very likely this coming Monday. So stay tuned for more news on that. I think that this coming Monday, the official version of iOS 12.3 will come uh, to our devices simply because there has been no new features or major changes, just really bug improvements and speed and performance improvements along with a little bit of focus on battery life. So uh, go ahead and get subscribed and also hit the bell button to get updates as soon as that content is released, or if you wanna watch any of our other content here on the channel. So guys, thank you for watching this video. If you have any comments or questions, make sure to comment those down below. Let me know what your thoughts are on the beta process for iOS 12.3 so far, or if you feel like it, go ahead and tell me what you wanna see in iOS 13 coming just within the next month. So that's super exciting as well. Anyways, guys, again, thank you for watching. I hope you all have a great weekend, and I hope to see you in our next video. Peace.